only way I can do that is not by making empty promises. All that the Lord has said we will do, I got to say, Lord, nothing in my hand I bring, simply to your cross I cling. So let me close up with this. Adam and Eve reach for, that's our whole story, reach for equality with God. Stumbled and fell outside the garden. Immediately, a call meeting was held amongst the Godhead personality. The old preacher said faith was there. Mercy was there. Love was there. Hope was there. The father got the floor, set the agenda by saying, well, you know, my children have sinned. They've been kicked out of their garden home, but... But they're still my children. I can't let them go out into a cold, cruel world improperly tied, ill prepared. Pope said, uh, Well, what you got in mind, omniscient father? Father said, Well, I've been looking in my, old, in my wardrobe of the church. I think I got just what they need. Call the whole arm of God. Head be covered with the helmet of salvation. They had a breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith. The sword of the spirit, the belt of truth, the feet, the shot of the gospel of peace. I think if I give that to them, I can get them and their posterity back in the garden. Justice jumped up to the high point of all. Can't give that away. That's too valuable. Somebody got to pay for that. Father brought down the gavel and said, hold on, hold on, hold the peace. I realize it is value. So I'm going to pay. But now these kind of grand cosmic transactions, they take time. So if you just take this credit card called Promise, I'll pay you after a while. The old preacher said uh, the meeting reconvened centuries later outside the city walls of Jerusalem on a stall shaped hill called Calvary. Hope was there. Love was there. Justice was there. Hate was there, fear was there, pity was there. Hope in a wishful voice said, I, I hope he show up. Uh -huh. Faith, looking out in the distance of eternal promise, said, hold on. I think I see him coming. Amen. His garments are stained red from treading the wine press of God's wrath alone. Oh, but I hear faith saying, oh, but he's coming. <laughs> His eyes are bloodshot from weeping for sin curse world, but I, I hear faith say, yeah, but it's coming. It back is bent down low from carrying the burdens of a sin-laden world, but I hear faith again and again, oh yeah, but he's coming. When Jesus showed up, he submitted himself into their hands. Just the screen, I want vengeance. I want blood. Hatred said, kill it now. And I'll drive the first name. Fear said, that's right. Set me down and put confidence in my place. But pity cried, have mercy on my Jesus. Prejudice said, he stands for all minorities. And I hate minorities. But, somebody say but. But, but Jesus said. I said, but Jesus said. If you think I'll fight, don't nail my hands. If you think I'll run, you can nail my feet. If you think I will change my mind, put a crown of thorns on my head. The songwriter said, Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Sin left the crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Oh, I remember that song says, I will sing it. That's my testimony. Deep in sin, Ah, from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But, come on now, there it goes. But, but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from the water, he lifted me. Now, safe in my, here's my, this, is my, this is my stuff on Monday too. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. So my question to you, would you be free from your birth of sin? Uh, there's power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? 
had power in the blood. Or if you didn't hear me, read my lips. That power, I said power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. So my hope is built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest spring, but only leave. See, in the ghetto where I come from, I used to see brothers leaning on the wall in the morning going to school. I come back home, see the same brother leaning on the same wall in the same position, talking the same nothing. But I want to leave on the everlasting home. So get your lean on. <laughs> Safe and secure from all along. On Sunday, I get my lean on. On Monday, I get my lean on. In the midnight hour, got to wake up. What you doing, baby? Get my lean on. I just to have some help up in here. Don't set it for being a church member. You got to be saved. But it's not by your Sabbath school lesson, not by your church affiliation, not by your position in the church, not what you do or don't do. It's because God made a promise that he got to keep. He got to make it realized. He has guaranteed it. And I'm going to be proof in the pudding that what God says is so, is so. You can't make without it. I know too much about it. So you go that on. You keep letting these folks bully you if you want. You let Sister Suki and Brother uh, Nobody keep shouting in your ear in the name of the devil trying to push you around and tell you stuff that they can't make come to pass. See, I got a beeper. You can't see it, but it's there. It's dialed up already to heaven's 911. Every time I get in trouble, I just push the button to EMS, the eternal merciful Savior. He shows up right now on the top of us. You keep calling on sister so-and-so. You keep calling on that person if you want. But I'm going to call on the EMS. I need some help right now. Didn't I just help you before? Yeah, you did, but you told me to keep on coming. And I'm going to keep on coming. I might even moonwalk back, but I'm going to keep on coming. I might fall down, but I'm going to dust myself off. Pick myself up. Shake the yellow out of my back. Get running in my feet. Tapping in my hands. I shout in my voice. I got to realize I'm saved. Yeah. You go be it with that. I know y'all got problems with that. Oh, wait, you Pentecostal. Yeah, I am Pentecostal. I believe in all the ministry of the Holy Ghost. I know it wasn't by my promise. It's by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost blows on me. When I'm going to the right, he said, blow me back. When I'm going to the left, and the thing about the Holy Ghost, I can go all directions. Every now and then, he'll blow a whip. <laughs> so keep me in the straight and narrow. Don't limit it go. We stand to our faith. Come to a close. I hope you leave here with a certainty. Not an arrogance, but a certainty that rests on the broad shoulders of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've grown up in this church. I don't know any other church but this one. I've heard all the different arguments. People mean well. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta hold up the standards. Well, that's another argument. And you ought to hold up the standard. I guess the best you can. But, but, but they've been holding up them standards since, since I was a little boy. And a lot of our opportunities hold up the standards should be more like this. I got to hold up the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Ghost will put a standard in his heart. I know you worry, what she look like, what he look like, what he wearing, what he eating, what he, all those kind of things we worrying about that. I mean, what, even if I'm eating it, come on, even if I'm eating it, let me out, come on, bro. If I'm eating it, I said I'm eating it, it went in this mouth. 
it ain't bothering you. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I shouldn't eat it. Okay, we got that. I, 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 should, I shouldn't even go near it. But if I do eat it, I said if I eat it. So if I don't eat it, did it help the stuff in Japan? Did it prevent the stuff in Japan? Oh, and I didn't eat it. Did it keep your children from running around? Did it keep your husband and your wife from messing up? And then, and then, so, so, so why are you worried about whether I eat it or don't eat it? What is that? I'm 60 years old, look good. I don't need your witness, I gave my own witness. I look good. And my wife say I look real good. That's two witnesses. The Bible says in the mouth of two. Except that they they were that. But you keep looking for people in this church, in the world, to give you that. I know you missed it, okay? I, I ain't trying to get in your life. So daddy didn't spend quality time with you. And that void is there. But Jesus can feel that void. Yeah. Daddy may be dead. Yeah. God bless his soul. Yeah. And he never gets a chance to put his arm around you like you really wanted. Yeah. And you should have gotten it. Uh -huh. But don't go around going to make the church pay yeah. for what daddy didn't do. Yeah. Now, now everybody got to suffer. Uh -huh. Because daddy didn't handle his business. But Jesus said, look, you still here? Daddy didn't hug you? You got a job? You done gone through school? Got a husband or a wife? The look, 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 Lord done blessed you without daddy's hug. The devil will use any and everything to get you from focusing on Jesus. So when somebody stick a knife in your back, in the church, in the world, because you understand, we ain't no good in the world, so you understand what folk in. I can understand this thing tonight, but them folk in the church, come on. But see, there, there's, there's tears in the church. So if you get disillusioned to think that everybody in the church is really trying to make the kingdom, you only set yourself up for disappointment. And so here you got a knife in your, what God going to do with that now? The pastor put the knife in. The elder put the knife in. The deaconess put the knife The Sabbath school suit. All the... I'm going to leave. I'm leaving. Uh, God, God, God made that promise, but that didn't mean when they put that knife in my back. The resurrection said God can take a knife out your back. I wish I had some help. There ain't no situation. There's no argument, no excuse that you can say, well, Lord, you know, Lord, well, you know, my situation is a little bit different. You know, I'm from Philadelphia, West Philadelphia. I mean, the Barbary Coast was there. The moon was around the way. I mean, I only had a single mother. I had a sister getting on my lap and her, you know, come on to folk at school. Y'all you know, talk about that, Lord. but Lord, Lord, McClary, look, my situation is different. The Lord said, look, wait a minute. See this man here that I'm talking for you? I put him down in Nashville. Ain't nothing good ever come out of Nashville. In fact, I, I put him in a place that was just like where you say you from. And then I brought him out of there. And guess where I put him? Put him up here. Now, I, I got a position here for you, right next to him. See, that thing is, it, 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 it looks like it's a fixated space, but this is a malleable space that if you just be favored, put your faith in him, I can put you right next to Sally. Now here, folks, I'm not going to be long. I'm not trying to get you to join the church. All I want you to do is affiliate with people where you can hear the gospel. That's all. That's all, you can, that's all church ought to be about. If I can hear the gospel and, and all the, the amenities helps me see Jesus clearly and understand that that covenant had me in mind, that, that, that's where I'm going to join. That, that, that's where I'm going. I, I ain't arguing about the Sabbath, vegetarianism, clothes. I ain't arguing about none of that stuff. All I want to know, can you help me see what's in it for me a little bit clearer? I want to be better than I am. Can you help me? So I'm asking you, if you believe this church can help you, this pastor, this, this cohort, if they can help you do that, 
you want to join what God has given you to the fold, to a motley crew of people who just mess up. Isn't that something? Yeah. We all messed up. Yeah. Oh, that's how good God is, man. You ain't no good. I know you ain't no good. We done done some no good stuff together. You got me to do it. I got you to do it. They over there got us to do it. It's on record. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing we can do but come on, you hold my hand up. I'm gonna hold your hand. We guilty. We guilty, Lord. And all the Lord said, come bold. And that's how I'm coming with my head down, but come bold. And I'm guilty. And the Lord said, to find grace in the time of need. That's what I leave you with. That's, that, that, that's what keeps me going. That's why I got to be on this circuit to let folk know you keep on trying to keep that Sabbath or at least show up on Saturday morning. They ain't ready for that. They ain't ready for that. With your head by your eyes closed, some man, one boy or girl, you want to join this branch of Zion or you want this, this leadership here to minister to you, to lead you into fellowship with Jesus. Won't you just raise your hand or either come on out of your seat, come on down. I don't want to just be sitting in the pew. I don't want to just be visiting. I, I, I want to get a part of this. I, the Spirit of God is here. I want to, I don't want to feed on this. Come on, where are you? I'll come get you. Father God, I thank you for your word today. I pray that it, it, it helps some of us out of the quagmire of spinning our wheels, believing this discourse, and jumping from this uh, this wind of doctrine. That the gospel is the same for the Hebrews that Paul wrote to for us. That there's a man, a God man, who sits on the throne, who's offering us a covenant that says, I take full responsibility. All I need you to do is just keep looking to me. Keep looking. Keep looking. Just look unto me, the author and the finisher of your faith. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. Amen.